Warning, warning, any Meghan Markle fans, please switch off now. Hi guys, it's Taz, I'm back. So just a quick advisory, if you are a Meghan Markle fan, I suggest you switch this off now because I'm about to say a few things that you'll probably find upsetting. So me and my chubby shoulders are back just because I want to let loose a little bit on how I really feel about Meghan. This show, my channel, is called According to Taz, so this is really my thoughts and opinions, okay? So do your own research if you disagree with anything that I say. I personally think that Harry was hunted. I believe that Meghan marrying Harry was a career move. I don't believe it was for love. I think that Meghan, from the moment she first laid eyes on him and thought she was in with a chance, has carefully and coldly concocted a plan to get to him. I think that she used people and surrounded herself with Harry's outer circle and wormed her way in until she bagged her prince. I think from everything that I've seen of her behaviour, I believe her to be fake. I believe her to be a narcissist, especially with the past year or even just since the wedding, how she has slowly, Harry has fallen out with everyone. He's now pushed his friends away, lifelong friends. He's pushed his brother away. He's pushed even now, like refusing to see the Queen. Um, I think that Meghan has entrapped him and I believe that he really loves her and I think he's going to end up chewed up and spat out and I think that when they do separate, this divorce is going to be historically a bloodbath. It's going to be brutal. I don't wish divorce on anyone, but this one, I think the writing's on the wall. Harry, unfortunately, was right for the picking and Meghan was a very, very well-seasoned hunter. I think everything that Meghan has done is about self-promotion. I don't know if she intends to have a career in politics, but she's certainly cozen up to uh, Hillary Clinton. Well, that's the axe down, isn't it, really, on, um, on Meghan. She's disliked enough, let alone with having someone like Hillary backing her. I think that Meghan has never really wanted to be part of the family. I think she tricked Harry. I think she did the orphan Annie routine. As it turns out, that's a pack of lies. I think that she manipulated him and she used him. She used his weaknesses to do with his mother to get what she wanted. And Harry has obliged. He has spoiled her rotten. And now we are left with, I would say, a wolf in sheep's clothing, but she's not even wearing the sheep's clothing anymore. This is a wolf quite confidently strutting around Windsor now. She has absolutely gone out of her way to do everything to upset the British public. She has never followed protocols from anything from over-talking Harry, making herself the centre of attention, shoving him out the way. She seems to think that she is the royal. She is so unbelievably uppity and repugnant, as that reporter called her. And uh, yeah, that's fairly accurate. I think that the pregnancy was faked. I have seen too much footage. Majority of my friends have two and above children. I have it on very good authority and none of them believe that she was pregnant either. I think that the whole thing surrounding Archie's birth, a big scandal, it has all been done to gain more publicity. I think she plays games with the media and Harry is just that henpecked husband that goes along with it. I think he thinks he's in control but like the speeches that he's now reading out. You look at the transcript of W.E. Day, it's word for word, Megan's like Vogue article. She, the Vogue, that was just self-promotion. Smart works, self-promotion. She had a photographer following her around. Even the Instagram posts, it was all Megan. Everything has been done to promote her. And as it turns out, it's now coming out in the media that she's retained a Hollywood agent and she's got lawyers working for her. She never wanted to become a royal. She's tricked everyone. And now it's beginning to come out. She's now apparently caught a plane over to go see Serena. Um, New York Fashion Week, more likely. Whether that means that she's actually having a meeting with her crisis management PR company, another PR company. Oh dear, that, that ship has really sailed, my love. Um, but I don't think she cares. She doesn't care about the public. She doesn't care about the optics. She doesn't care about how it looks. I don't think she cares about Harry. I've never seen someone that plays victim so much in the media, but is so arrogant with it. Wimbledon, Meghan, that is the real Meghan and the world is really beginning to see it. There is no coming back from this media onslaught because she's bringing it on herself. She has never wanted to settle into the role of a supporting wife. 
from my previous videos and other things that you can just look up yourself. She has always wanted to be the star of the show. She wanted to be the star of the Windsors. She literally, she is out of control. And this is why people are so obsessed with Meghan and there's so much, uh, you know, news articles about her because people cannot believe this is happening. It's like car crash TV, it's reality TV, it's not real, this can't be real. And every day people that were defending her are like, I really can't defend her anymore. And it seems to be that it's being built up and built up. She's getting ready to um, take her million pound wardrobe and everything else that she can take and she will be on Oprah's sofa within the next three years doing the poor victim story. She's loving it. So for everyone that's thinking, oh poor Megan, she's so bullied, she's such a victim. Seriously honey, save your tears because Megan certainly isn't sharing any. You can how she is loving it and she will be promoting herself from years to come because that's what Megan does every magazine article everything that she writes everything she wants to do she even had Harry pimping her to Bob Iger the Disney exec at the Lion King premiere you know how Megan's available for uh, for voiceover work and blah, blah blah yeah like like Bob poor Bob we're all thinking the same Bob yeah oh that's just it's it's going to implode soon and um, we're all just sitting back and waiting i can see now that the world is beginning to wake up harry was hunted he was a career move she didn't want to marry harry she just wanted the wedding she is in the best role of her life and it's given her more fame more notoriety and more platforms than what her acting career would have ever done so i have to say to megan well played. She's she's outstanding at what she does, really. And the only person I do genuinely feel sorry for is going to be Harry. And I hope after the damage that Meghan has caused to his entire family, that they'll be still willing to pick up the pieces. The public will forgive you, Harry. But, you know, you've really got to work on your family and wake up soon, mate, because you're going to need someone to try and work out where the hell she hid your balls when this divorce happens. My guess is Frogmore Garden, actually. Bye-bye.